Oh, AP, so All glad. Right, you good to go? Oh, that's it. Yes, sir. Have All fun. Right, thank you. Finally. Daisy. Oh, it's your girl, Daisy. Daisy hitting him. The monorail. First stop is a little pin trading. Yep. Yep. Where you from? Uh, slide out. Ooh. Oh, we gotta get. And the Valentine's one. And we gotta. We gotta get the Valentine's. Festival of the Arts. If you do that thing, you get a pin. Remember? No. The Tango. Hot pigment. Definitely. Well, we're going to get the Mardi Gras one for sure. Uh, we're going to get the Valentine's one. What else you going to? You got any annual pass ones? We do, yes. What did we just buy? A Mardi Gras pin. A Mardi Gras? <laughs> Mardi Gras pin or Mardi Gras? That's a nice looking pin. What else did we get? We got... A Valentine's Day. Okay. Since V Day's tomorrow. Oh, okay, okay. I, okay. I get it, I get it. Okay. What else? And then. Love it, love it. Thank, Thank you. you. And then a Festival of the Arts pin. A figment. Since we're at the last weekend of the Festival of the Arts. Yeah, last weekend. And right now, right now we're heading to Frozen Ever After, right? Yeah. So we're gonna go see how long that wait time is. And I don't know if that stuff is open. We'll check after. We'll check after. Oh, thank, oh, thank you. you. So, oh, wait. We're going to put We'll definitely show up. <laughs> so, we got some paintings right here. Yeah, we got some paintings right here. Some nice looking art. I like the little flowers. It kind of matches with it. We get side. We get sidetracked a lot. Yeah. Oh. oh, hold on. Woo, woo. About to get in her picture. Don't want to get in there. Okay, where are you from? Louisiana. Straight ahead, baby. Right now, I'm gonna go check out this little area off to the side while Taylor takes pictures. Oh, look at that. They got the butterfly. Pretty. I'm gonna call it a lemon. People are probably gonna correct me and say it's a flower. So, oh, Taylor's calling for me. I'm coming, Taylor. I'm coming. I'm coming. We're gonna go. We're checking out this festival show place. So, see what this is all about. This little walkway. Beautiful. Oh, thank you. Just a little monorail. That'll be a good picture for the monorail to come through. The change of plans. Ch it's closed right now. So yep. We're going to head to Frozen. Yep, we're going to go wait in Frozen because our first fast pass starts at 10.45. Yeah. An hour from now. So we got an hour. So right now we're just going to go to Frozen. Enjoy all the scenery. Never rode Frozen yet. Yeah, we never, we never rode Frozen yet. I, I don't have the screen face me, so I don't hope, I, hope it's uh, hitting us.
So right now, we're gonna go walk through our fast pass for a living in the land. And then after that, what are we doing after that? And then we have fa a fast pass for test drive, so we gotta run to the other side of the park. Which I think we should just stay Ooh, look, for monorail while. shot. So we're gonna stay on the side of, of the park for a little while. Yeah, until it gets closer to nighttime. Try to hit all these rides over here. Yeah, we got Figment. Slowly make our way through the countries. And we have dinner. Germany. For seven. Alright, stay tuned. Welcome to our living laboratory, right. where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee, and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petals, are edible. World. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. Maize, sure, sorghum, and peppers. millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food <coughs> consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Another innovation at work here is our integrated pest management program. By populating our greenhouses with beneficial insects Hello, that prey from harmful pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique what precisely controls and recycles yeah, water and nutrients. Uh, it spells out Epcot. With it, we right. produce over 27,000 heads. Tom. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponic system on your left 
combine yep. hydroponics with aquaculture. So right now, we just stopped. We got uh, stopped at Seasons. And I got the little Asian area, the Mongolian beef with the fried rice. And Taylor got the sweet and sour chicken with the fried rice. And some two Cokes. The total price of that, let me grab the thing. And they don't take annual pass. And what you said, Taylor? And they don't take annual pass. Total was $33.72. How is it? Satisfying? Hungry. Hungry. So anything's good? Alright, well we're gonna eat and then what are you doing? Huh? Can I want to try it? You just ate my food. Girl. You know like onions. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. We're gonna do the Pixar short thing. for our uh, fast pass for uh, test track. Now show me, get a horse, hyper and feast. Look at her. Steamboat Willie, Pixar. Oh, oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Leave it to us. So we got done with the Pixar short films. It was very cute, very cute. It was our first time ever doing it. So right now we're going to run to Test Track for our Fast Pass and ride that and then come back around 1 o'clock to do a little Visa Photo Pass thing. So that's what our game plan is for right now.